Hi, I'm Jamie Marble with Inspired Hygiene. A couple of weeks ago I wrote an e-zine called The Power of Perio Maintenance where I talked about how making sure we keep our patients once they have gone through periotherapy on perio maintenances. Um, this week I just got back from an in-office visit with a private coaching client and they had just the opposite problem. They were treating periodontal disease from the adult prophy standpoint proactively and then rolling them into perio maintenance but the problem was they were finding themselves caught in a perio maintenance trap. So we talk about the prophy trap but there's also such a thing as a perio maintenance trap. So there's a couple of um, tips I have here that I think if you follow, you're going to uncover if you're in a profi trap and also maybe help keep yourself from getting involved in one. The first thing is know your numbers. Know your numbers means checking your stats routinely. So some of those industry standard numbers are that you should have about three adult profis to every one perio maintenance. The other number you can look at is how many quads of active therapy are you doing per month versus how many perio maintenances. Those numbers should be about equal. So um, maybe 60-40 at the most, 60 being the perio maintenance. But check those numbers routinely because it can sneak up on you sometimes when that's happening. The next tip is if active, be proactive. And what I mean by that is if the patient, whether they're an adult pro, they're an adult profi or they're in the perio maintenance, if they show active infection, you need to be proactive. It doesn't matter if they've already gone through therapy. You need to stay on top of the disease. And we talk about active infection, we're talking about the bleeding. So the, the probing depths can stay the same, they can be there, but if ever you see signs of active infection, the bleeding, you need to do something different. Um, so that could include, it may not be that they go back through SRP, through periotherapy again, but it may be that you try to use some other layering, some other tools, like is there, are your hygienists laser certified? Is there maybe some um, lab testing you can do to see what their pathogens, um, the threshold of their pathogens. There's other things you can do, probiotics, locally applied antibiotics. So, so don't just think the one and done part um, works. You need to be on top of the infection. The next thing is educate right out of the gate. It is important at the time of the appointment that you are diagnosing and recommending periotherapy that that patient is fully aware that this is a lifetime commitment. Again, not one and done. That if we do this periotherapy on you, Mrs. Jones, then it's going to take care of the infection. They need to know that this is a lifetime commitment between the two of you and that their um, intervals to be seen are going to be so important to be um, more frequent so that we can stay on top of the disease. And let them know. They can be their own detective. If they see bleeding when they're at home after going through periotherapy, they need to get in and see you. They need to report that to you so that you and they together can be a, a team player in the um, treatment of keeping this disease from progressing any further. So make sure you follow these three rules and I think that you'll find that you won't get caught in the perio maintenance trap and you'll have healthier patients. Thank you and make it a great day.